In this video, we will review how to set report controls. Here's a copy of the report created in the previous video using the report wizard. Notice that we do not see the artist's name. This is because it was built off of the album table and the artist table is linked to that table with this foreign key. I created a query with both tables so that we could now see the artist's name. To change the source for this report, I'll have to open it in Design View, click on the Report Selector, click the Property Sheet, and then choose the query for the source instead of the table. Now we want to take a look at how the report is grouped. To do that, click the Design tab and click on the Group and Sort button. This will display the Group and Sort pane. You can see that we currently do not have any groups, but we would like to group it by the newly added Artist Name field. To do that, click on Add a Group and then choose the field. Now the group should be above the sort, so I'll have to click on it and drag it upward. And it's sorted ascending by artist name, should, so that should be fine. We would also like to sort by either album title or the year. Um, I think I'll go with year. So I'll add a sort and sort it by album year. And ascending is fine. I will remove the sort for album title. Now, since we added the group, we have a group here, but we don't have a field in it. So we need to add the artist name field to that header area. You can also add other controls as needed by using the Controls button. Now let's take a look at the report in Form View just to see what it looks like. And you can see that it is grouping by artist. So that's correct. Now let's go back to Design View these fields are a little bit too long, so we'll shrink those up a little bit. And it would be nice if we had a sub-report for the songs so that we could see the songs that are on the albums. To do that, click the Controls button, click on the Subform Sub-Report control, and then click one time in the detail area of the report. We will use existing tables and queries and we will use the song table. And we'll just add the song title and album ID. Click Next. Now because this database has relationships, correct relationships established, we can just choose the one that it automatically picked up. If you don't have relationships defined, you will have to define your own linking fields for the subreport. And then you can give the subreport a name if desired. And then click Finish. Now, if we view the report and print preview, you can see that we see a list of songs for each album. Doesn't look very nice because it needs some formatting, but at least we've got the controls in there. And then the last thing we want to take a look at for this particular objective is managing labels. And we've sort of talked about this with forms, so you should already be familiar with this. Your labels you can change the font color, you can make several different modifications to those. I'm just going to use the text formatting tools, make the text darker. 
We could add a fill color if desired uh, for the labels. This label is not really needed, so I'm going to click on that and just press the delete key to get rid of that. If you need to make additional changes to labels, you can bring up the property sheet to do that. When finished, make sure you save the report and then just follow the instructions on the test. If it tells you to leave it open, leave it open.